Hey guys, it's your girl Niyoshi, and I want to thank you for tuning into this frequency called Niyoshi Hypno. <laughs> I'm a clinical and transpersonal hypnotherapist best known for my hypnosis and past life regression sessions. I believe that we're here, we're each placed here in this earth at this time, this very unique, specific time on earth uh, for a particular reason. Um, me, my purpose is to assist with, um, I guess you could say the ascension, somebody would call, <laughs> but, um, my purpose here in this life is to help you heal your soul, break through blockages and align with your divine purpose. I do this through my sessions. Um, I also, in my sessions, help connect with your guides, ancestors, um, and be able to understand and hear your higher self more clearly. Um, I am not for everybody. <laughs> Let's get that out the way. But if you're here, I feel like your guides have led you to me because I hear that a lot of my sessions. Your guides have led me, led you to um, this video, which means that there's something in it for you. And I'm, you know, blessed. And I feel blessed and thankful to be able to assist you um, and receiving whatever information you might receive from this video. This video that I'm going to show with you right now. It's unique. It's very special. Um, all of my sessions are, but I wanted to share this specific video with you um, as I have my other videos. Um, keep in mind, I did get permission from my clients to share this session. Um, so it may not be, you know, be, most likely it's not the whole session, but you have a very important part of the session um, that may hold something for you. And I hope that you can get something out of this. So in a second, I'll show you that video. But before you do, don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this whenever they're posted. You can also click the bell there to get an alert whenever it's posted. Um, if you like this video as well, be sure to thumbs up, share with someone you think that might it may be able to help as well. Um, okay, I guess that's enough to talk about me and everything else. <laughs> Here's a video. I hope you enjoy. Somebody else is here. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. It looked like somebody's drowning me in a pool. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There's a male or female? A dude. Mm -hmm. How do you feel when you notice that? Confused. Mm -hmm. What thoughts would be in mind about that? I'm just very confused. I'm mm -hmm. trying to reach out. Tell me more about that. What do you mean? I feel like I'm reaching out to somebody else. Somebody's trying to drown me in the water. I'm looking at a, I'm looking past them, bro. Mm -hmm. Like so at a, a door or some, I'm looking at something else. Someone's trying to drown you, but you're looking at someone else? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm kind of like reaching I'm, I'm almost almost like asking for help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the pro and, mm -hmm. do you feel male or female there? Female. Mm -hmm. Do you feel young or old there? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I, I'm not little and I'm not old. Mm -hmm. What I'm age 20. do you What age do you feel there? I'm Twenty two. Mm hmm. And the person that's drowning you, is that a male or female? Is that a male? Mm -hmm. The person you're reaching to for help, is that a male or female? I can't really see them. Mm -hmm. What thoughts go through your mind about that person you're reaching out to? I feel like they're able to help me, but they're not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as you're viewing that, what, from what position are you seeing this? Where are, where are you standing, sitting, and lying? I'm standing on, like on the side watching. Mm -hmm. What else do you notice about this place? I'm sorry. What else do you notice about that place? We're in a bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really terrified. Mm -hmm. Describe yourself. I'm black. Mm -hmm. Nude. Mm -hmm. And I got my... I got my arm stretched out, my right arm stretched out. Mm -hmm. I'm asking for help. I'm crying. Mm -hmm. 
How's that happening? The person that's drowning you, do they say anything to you? I don't know. They're just looking really mean and violent looking. Mm -hmm. Describe them. What does he look like? He's big. It's a big guy. He muscles. Mm -hmm. What is he wearing? Like a t-shirt. A dark gray t-shirt. He has like a little beanie hat on. Mm -hmm. What color is his skin? He's black. What thoughts will be in mind about him? I'm angry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You feel like you know uh, this man or is he a stranger? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, let that scene play out there. What happens next there? He drives me. Mm -hmm. I stop fighting. Mm -hmm. And what do you notice then? He turns around. Leaves me in the tube. Mm -hmm. Very good. What and do you there, go, go ahead. There's a woman there. Mm -hmm. Standing in the doorway. Mm -hmm. Describe her. I feel like I know her. She has a cigarette. She's mm -hmm. just watching, watching everything happen. Mm hmm Describe her. What is she looking She has an afro, a long nightgown, or a long dress or something. Mm -hmm. And you connect with that woman's energy. What name does she call you? What's your name? Sandra. Sandra. Sandra, what year is it there for you? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And who is that woman? How do you know her? I don't know. Mm -hmm. And this place that you're in, does this feel like a place where you lived or a place where you're visiting? I feel like a place where I lived. What happens next year? What does that woman do now that you're, you're gone? She's just watching me. Look, she's looking down at me. Mm -hmm. And it's like, just really no emotion. Mm -hmm. so I want you to go ahead and close that scene, Sandra. Close that scene. I want you to move toward another significant event there in that same lifetime of Sandra. Or something else important in that life is happening. Be there now. Tell me what's happening. Who are you, inside or outside? I'm not sure. What do you notice there? I'm not sure. In this place that you're in, how do you feel there? I feel angry. You feel like you're standing, sitting, walking. What are you doing there? I feel like I'm outside somewhere. The sky is open me. Okay, the sky's over you. Mm -hmm. You feel like you're standing, sitting, and walking. I feel like I'm standing out. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm dancing or something. I'm twirling. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? I feel like a kid. What age? Like 12 or 13. Are you alone there with others? I'm by myself. Mm -hmm. What are you wearing there? I'm wearing like some shorts and a shirt. What are you wearing on your feet? No shoes. Mm -hmm. Describe your hair. I'm in an afro. Mm -hmm. How do you feel there? I feel okay. I'm, I'm just dancing by myself, like twirling. Mm -hmm. What thoughts are I, going through your mind as you do that? I'm happy. I think I like being by myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I was like I had some type of formal training or something because I'm dancing on one leg, I'm twirling on one leg. Mm -hmm. I feel like a major red or something, some some type of dancing. Mm -hmm. What what happens next? There, let that scene play out. What do you notice around you as you're doing that? Like I'm in a forest or something. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of isolated. Mm -hmm. This place that you're in, does it feel like a place where you live or a place where you're visiting? Somewhere I'm visiting. Mm -hmm. Are you visiting this place alone or with others? I'm by myself. Mm -hmm. Anything else stands out to you in that place? No. Mm -hmm. So what happens next? I let that scene play out. I feel like somebody's watching me. Someone's watching you? Tell me more about that. I can't see them, though. I just... Mm -hmm. I just feel like somebody's watching mm -hmm. while I'm out here. Mm -hmm. What thoughts go through your mind about that? 
I feel scared, but I feel like I'm paranoid. I'm just being paranoid. Mm-hmm. I'm just being scared. I feel like I feel like maybe somebody's about to kidnap me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Have you been to that place before? Is this your first time visiting there? I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. So let that scene play out there. Sandra, tell me what happens next year. Somebody grabs me. Mm-hmm. Describe this person. It's the guy that was drowning me. Mm-hmm. What happens? How do you respond when he grabs you? I'm scared. I'm crying. I'm hollering. Mm-hmm. Do they say anything to you as that's happening? No. Mm-hmm. And what happens when he grabs you? What does he do next? He takes me somewhere. I'm not sure if it's a car or if he takes me in the house. And he takes me somewhere. Mm-hmm. What else do you notice there that's happening? I'm scared. Mm-hmm. Let that scene play out. Tell me more. What happens next time? I think I get right. It's just me and him. Mm-hmm. Where are you as he does that? In the house. This house feels familiar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What happens next time? I don't know. And as he rapes you, what do you do? I just lay there and cry. Mm-hmm. I just lay there and cry. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm looking at myself mm-hmm. as it's happening. I see me standing in the corner. Mm-hmm. What thoughts go through your mind as you notice that? I feel sad. Mm-hmm. I feel sad for myself. Mm-hmm. That does seem play out there. Anything else significant happen there that day? No. And then what is he doing now? What is he doing? Mm-hmm. We're still having sex. Mm-hmm. I want to speak with that man. I want you to lend your mind and listen to him. I want to speak directly with him. And three, two, one, take a deep breath in. Let me speak with that man. Yeah. Hello there, sir. What's your name? Hello. Hi, what's your name? My name's Victor. Victor, how do you know Sandra? Dating her mom. Repeat that? I'm dating her mom. Dating her mom. Mm-hmm. And why are you raping her? I like her. Mm-hmm. You understand she's just a child as well? Yeah. Do you have any children? No. How old are you, Victor? 27. Mm-hmm. You live there with her and her mom? No. Does her mom know what you're doing with her? No. Mm-hmm. How do you think she feel about it? She won't like it. Mm-hmm. Is this your first time doing that to her? No. How long have you been doing that to her? A few years. Mm-hmm. Victor, where do you live? I have my own spot. What, what's the name of the area where you live? City, state? Illinois. What year is it there for you? 1960. Anything else you want to share with me, Victor? No. Thank you very much. Let me speak with Sandra again. Go ahead, take a deep breath in. Let me speak with Sandra. Yeah. Tell me what happens next there, Sandra, with Victor. He gets up and put his clothes on, calls him to the bathroom. Your thoughts go through your mind as he does that? I want to die. How do you feel there? Very sad. Mm-hmm. What happens next there? He comes out and never like nothing happy. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you do afterwards? I just kind of lay there. Mm-hmm. I'm in shock. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is this his first time doing that to you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell me what happens next day, Sandra. I get up, I put my clothes on, and I just go about my day. I want you, I want you to go ahead and close that scene, Sandra. Close that scene. I want you to go now to another significant event in that same lifetime there, Sandra. Another important event there in that same lifetime with Sandra was something else important is happening. Be there now. Tell me what's happening. I'm back at being drowned, but I feel like I, I feel like I told my mom or something. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about that. I don't think she believed me. Mm-hmm. She may have confronted him about it. Mm-hmm. And 
I think she's looking at me like I'm the other woman. Mm -hmm. I want you to go to that moment there when you told your mom about it. Be in that moment now. Where are you? Mm -hmm. What are you doing there? I'm standing up and she's sitting down. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to explain to her what has happened. Mm -hmm. As you're doing that, what does she say? She's quiet. Mm -hmm. She's smoking a cigarette. Mm -hmm. She's very quiet. Mm -hmm. What do you tell her? Then? I'm just telling her what what happened, like my version of what happened, and I'm mm -hmm. very passionate about it. Mm -hmm. like I'm very angry, and my hands are all over the place. I'm, I'm hitting my hands together. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm a young adult. How old do you feel there? Like 21, 22. Mm -hmm. I feel like I got more of a voice than I did. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling her about it. Mm -hmm. She's not responding. Mm -hmm. She don't have anything in her eyes. Mm -hmm. She don't have no, no sympathy for me. Mm -hmm. This is the first time you've told your mom about what happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you feel there? Is she responds in that way. I'm getting, I'm getting even more angry. Like I'm really trying to convince her what I'm saying is true. Mm -hmm. What happens next there? I don't know. She calls him over and tells him what I said. But then he gets very angry. Mm -hmm. He's disagreeing with me. And somehow they come up with a plan to kill me. Let me speak with your mom. I want you to lend your my lips to your mom. I want to speak directly with her in three, two, one. Take a deep breath in. Let me speak with her now. Hello there. What's your name? Cheryl. Cheryl, are you Sandra's mom? Yes, my name is Sarah. What is your name? Sarah. Sarah, Sarah, tell me what's happening with your daughter. She's lying on my knee. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. She wants me to believe what she's saying is true, but I don't believe her. He told me it's not true, and I believe him. Mm -hmm. And why you believe him more than her? Because I want to believe him. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your relationship with your daughter, Sarah. I feel like she's competition. Well, how's your daughter competition for you? She's just competition in my house. In what way? She's another woman in my house. I feel like I don't even know her. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. I don't like another woman in my house. I want to be the only woman in here. Mm -hmm. She got to go. Mm -hmm. Have you always felt like that about your daughter? Only when a man is around. Mm -hmm. What happened to her father? He left. Mm -hmm. Do you care about your daughter, Sarah? I care about her a little bit, but not enough. What kind of work do you do, Sarah? I'm a stay-at-home mom. Mm -hmm. How are you able to care for yourself and your family? I have boyfriends. They give me money. Mm, so, that guy is only one of your boyfriends? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What kind of work does Sandra do? She doesn't work. How do you feel about that? I don't I don't care. Mm -hmm. Is it just you and her who live there, or do you have other children? It's just me and her. Anything else you want to share with me, Sarah? No. Let me speak with Sandra again. Go ahead, take a deep breath in. Be Sandra. So, Sandra, tell me what happens next day with you and your mom. He grabs my neck. Mm -hmm. Very forcefully behind my neck. Bring me to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. As he does that, what do you do? You say anything to him? I'm just kind of in shock. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling frozen. Mm -hmm. What does your mom do when he does that? Nothing. What happens next? 
He wants the bath water. He's very angry. Who He's wants like, bath water? He does. Mm -hmm. And what are you doing as he does that? I'm just standing there with his hand around my back of my neck. Mm -hmm. I'm crying. I'm not sure what's about to happen. Mm -hmm. happens next to you. He puts me in the water. But it's not like hot or cold. It's like lukewarm. Mm -hmm. He's still very angry. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to reach out to my mom for help. Mm -hmm. She's just standing in the doorway looking with no emotion. Mm -hmm. A bit of disgust on her face. Mm -hmm. That pops up to you as she knows that as she watches. Confused. Mm -hmm. Like I'm reaching out to her, like, do you see this? Do you actually see what's going on? Help me. She just looked at me. She's looking at me, but looking down. Very condescending look. Mm -hmm. And what happens next, sir? He puts his hands around my throat and he's pushing my head down in the water mm -hmm. as I'm trying to fight. Mm -hmm. I'm very scared. Why don't you go ahead and move to the part where you take your last breath in that body? You feel your soul slip out that body and you rise above that scene. What do you notice below? He stands up and walks past my mom out of the bathroom. She stayed in there a little, a little while longer. Mm -hmm. She didn't have any tears, so mm -hmm. I feel like she has a bit of relief. Mm -hmm. she, smokes a, she smokes a cigarette mm -hmm. and she leaves. Mm -hmm. I want you to connect with the energy of your mom and her boyfriend there. Do you recognize their energies as anyone in your current life? My mom is giving me my mom mm -hmm. energy. And it's dude, I feel like he's giving me bright energy. Very good. Well, you know, it's now what do they do with your body? They left me in there. What do they do next? They roll me up and like a blanket or something. Mm -hmm. And they go put me in some water. What kind of water? Like a river or something. Lake, something like that. Mm -hmm. That's what the mind you notice that. I feel sad. But I also feel like I feel a bit distant from the situation. Like I've kind of accepted it. And kind of thinking that's what that. I just turn around and leave. Mm 